Hi everybody, my name is Amber Dean and I play horn in the Palm Beach Symphony Orchestra. In my first two videos I talked about breathing and warming up and in this video I'd like to talk about working on etudes. Um, for the sake of this video, we're just going to use Coprash number 7 because I think Coprash is something that most horn players have. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to look at Coprash number 7. So what I typically look for when I am learning a new etude, I will look to see if there were if there are any change in key signatures. There isn't one in this etude, so we don't have to worry about it. But the next thing I will look for is any accidentals that might be added in. So all of these. Um, I just want to make sure that before I play this, I am prepared for what is coming up. Um, I'll also look for rhythmic changes. This is all pretty much the same rhythm, but you do have to be careful because in the intervals start to change and instead of ascending, they become descending intervals. So I'll want to be prepared for that. Also, the next thing I'll start looking for is dynamics. I will try to point out where all of the dynamics are and if I think there's one that I might miss, I'll go ahead and circle it. Um, for example, like it says crescendo here, I typically will just take my pencil and write out a crescendo. One second. I'll just write in the crescendo because I, when it's written out like that, sometimes I don't do it and I know that I don't do it. So I like to go ahead and write that in before I even start so that I don't miss it. And then once I think I have figured out all of the surprises that might come up, I will pick a pretty slow tempo, a tempo that I think I will be able to get through the piece at, and I will do a run through and see how well I do. And when I get done, um, I'll go ahead and mark the spots that I didn't think went as well. And then that's where I'll start to practice. I won't go from beginning to end a hundred times. So let's say I ran through this and this section from here to here didn't go very well. Um, I will think about what went wrong. What did I miss? Did I miss the dynamics? Or was I missing notes? What, what was not going right. And then I'll slow the temp tempo way down and do this section slowly until I can get all of these dynamics and everything in the right spot. And then once I have done that, I will start to speed it up a little bit to the tempo that I want it to be. Um, and so once I finish that section, I'll go on to another section and I'll do the same thing. And I really try not to just sit and play everything from beginning to end because that will end up being a waste of your time. What you really want to do is you want to focus on the sections that are difficult and you really want to shed those. And then once you feel like those are better, go ahead and try to do a run through again and see how it goes. Um, and then from there, go ahead and work on the spots that are still giving you trouble.